Hi guys. Hi guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you are doing great. Watch us as we unpack and put together the Milex. Milex misting fan. Okay, the Milex XL misting fan. fan. As you can see. As we're showing you guys. So these are the uh, supporting poles. Supporting tubes, yeah. Yes, and now we are putting the base and the base cover yeah. together. Under the supporting tubes, you can see you have some bows and you need to remove them and tie them with the base so that it should be firm. So, okay. Yes. So at the bottom now, he's turning the bottom so that he can put the base cover. What the is supporting it? Tubes. The supporting yes. tubes. tubes. So yeah. there's only two supporting tubes. They're not that long, but... They're very firm if you tie them. They're very firm, yes. So right. you have to make sure that you're putting them in the right direction. There's lines at the top for the other part, but you have to put the ones that don't have lines in that direction. So right now, he's trying to put in the screws at the bottom of the base cover. Okay, so now he is aligning the base cover to the base to, the, to the, base. the supporting tubes. Yeah. Because the, 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 you need to align it so that the those bows they enter nicely. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm doing now. And it's, you have to screw it, guys, yeah, and so it has to be tight. It came with a spanner. I see these two over there. They came with a small spanner. I see that's it, so they can tighten it right nicely. Mm -hmm. Just a small spanner. Just a very small <laughs> bed is working. Doing the work. So you need to tie it right nicely. Mm. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it's firm. I guess it's firm now. Okay, so we are moving on to. Okay, we are just showing you guys that it's firm and perfect. Okay, guys, so we are moving on to the main machine. So they are all having different parts. That's the place where you put the water, the one that is holding up right now. Yeah, that's the mist generator. The okay, mist generator. The mist generator. Mist. Yes, um, so we have to put it inside uh, the base base cover. On top of the oh, yes, supporting the, tubes. Yeah, you, there is a part in that There's base two cover holes, yes, yeah. where it fits inside. Mm -hmm. And guys, as I was saying with the lines earlier, those lines help you... Yeah, it guides you to fit the, the, yeah. that, uh, that part. And then you just tie it. You just the, tie yeah, it? Yeah, there, there are... There are uh, Tom screws behind. Yeah. After feeding it, you, you tie the thumb screws nicely. They so have two thumb screws two, at the back. Yeah, the two thumb screws there. Yeah. I show them. As yeah, you can see, yeah, you those are the, the thumb screws to the left, and I'm tying the right. Yeah. You need to tie them nicely because the fan, when it's turning, it needs to be firm. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm a man. I need to tie it nicely. <laughs> Okay, so we I'm showing you right. Okay, guys, right now I'm holding the mist generator, and he is holding the mist tank. Yeah, the water, the water tank. tank. The water I mean. tank. Yeah. So we need to fit it mm -hmm. inside the base cover. Yes. And it's so far so good, guys. Uh, there are there are you see. See, I'm struggling to fit the uh, mm -hmm. position where they need to fit in nice, right? Yeah, you just have to rotate it yeah. in order to fit perfectly. Fit perfectly. So, so guys, this is the ray gray. Yes. And that's the f that one is the front, the front gray. Okay. So and this one is the blade, the spinning blade. Mhm. Mm so we need to. And guys, on the fan, as you can see, there is a blade spinner. So right now he's twisting and turning the gray blade spinner. So there it is. And now that is a plastic uh, knot. Okay. That is holding the the plastic knot is actually holding the ray gray. So we need to see. Mm -hmm. And now he's putting it back in, so it is tight. The ray grill. 
it's yeah, tight. I need to position it nicely because you see, <clears throat> that I've, you know, all these things they have position where they fit. Yeah. yeah. We see this is the blade, and you need to fit it. So there's a position in which it clicks. Yeah, it is having two. Uh, it is having a two small. Yeah, there's a place that you need to enter inside. Mm -hmm. If you have the fan, you see, but it's so tiny. But you need to fit it inside. That one is a blade spinner. The blade spinner you need to tie it properly. Why is holding the blade not to come out? There's instructions on it mm -hmm. on how to tie it. Up. So now we have to put the net frame it is the one holding the front gray and the gray the very gray mm -hmm. so you're gonna need a screwdriver for only those parts yeah. so guys there are screws on the net frame so you're only gonna need screwdriver for this part only you just want to screw it mm -hmm. it's not so easy to fit it in but you'll get the hang of it Make sure that it's straight and it's aligned. Make sure that the thingy on the front grid is facing directly down so that the pipe can be straight. And it doesn't have to bend to the side. Can you guys see me fitting in? Okay, so right now I'm fitting in the flexible holes into the fan, into the misting part of the fan. That is the flexible hose. And we're also fitting it into the water tank. Okay guys, this part was a bit difficult. We just needed a few instructions. Because there are three holes, I'm thinking. And there's a place where you have to open the knob. To put in the water so make sure you put it into the right hole there's a hole that has a knob and you have to turn it upside down in order to put the water in so guys as you can see we need to feed the uh, put water into the water tank you need to fill it and this is a cog you need to put it tight very firm so that the water cannot spill. Feed the water tank into the mist generator. Yes, guys, you have to make sure that it's fitted correctly and it's aligned with the holes. And the flexible hose pipe inside, mm -hmm. you feed it inside the water, water tank. tank. And then now the electrical part begins. See. You can put it into any setting you want. It goes up to five. One, two, three, four, and five buttons. And there's an on button. You just have to twist the knob. And you have the power, the mist controller. Mm -hmm. And you have the mist button also. From yeah. there. You have to switch on the mist button first. And then on the mist controller at the bottom, it will turn green. And you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Everything is perfect. You can see. We're so so happy. The mist was coming out, and it was just so beautiful, guys. This not a, this fan is very good. Just for this is our first time having this fan, but you know, it's worth it. It's worth it because giving what we want. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was an amazing first experience, and we really love this fan, guys. You try it and let let us know comment session let us know guys if these instructions help bye guys bye